Everybody on the internet talks about productivity, how to be more productive, grind it out, get a ton of stuff done, but they never really say how or any useful tips on how to do it. So today I'm going to share what has worked for me and I'm sure will probably work for most of you guys as well. And I just want to give a little disclaimer, I'm not always super productive. I have my times as well where I'll go like maybe a month or two like going to bed late, like 4 a.m., waking up late in the afternoon and just not really being too motivated. So I'm not saying I'm like this crazy guy that does this all the time, but I mean, I do go through some phases of being really productive. So no matter what you see on the internet, take it for face value. All these people out here that talk about productivity and entrepreneurship and fitness or whatever, and how they're just day in, day out, and they never have a bad day, they do, trust me. Everybody does, it's normal, so don't feel bad if you do occasionally as well. So to get right into it, I like to stack a lot on my plate. I find that when I have just a little bit going on, it seems like it would be easier to get stuff done because you only have a little bit of stuff going on. But in reality, the more that I have and the more busy I am and the more like stressed, you stress lightly. Stress is good, but not too much. The more stressed I am, the more busy I am, the more I get done and the more productive I am and more efficient I am in what I do. So obviously stacking a lot on your plate means that you're gonna get more done because you're doing more. But the thing is, when you stack more on your plate, you have to find a way to make time for everything so you actually become a lot more efficient at everything that you're doing, no matter what it is. You find ways to leverage your time, which is essential in being productive and basically achieving your goals. I'll give some examples later of how I like to leverage my time, but essentially it just means trying to get the most for your money out of, or I should say the most out of your time. Try to kill two birds with one stone, all the cliches out there. You're trying to do just as much as you can in the least amount of time. I like to think about it like this. Everybody has the same 24 hours every day. Billionaires have 24 hours in a day. Homeless people have 24 hours in a day. Everybody has 24 hours in a day to get stuff done. So how can someone be way up here, no matter what it is, not necessarily money, or someone else is way down here, yet they still have the same amount of time? Think about this comparison. So there's a minimum wage worker that works 16 hours a day grinding. Every day they're just working. And then there's a, and then there's a multimillionaire, multiple companies that claim that they work only a few hours a day. So how is this? How is it that one person can seemingly work so much harder than the other, yet they're not getting as successful as the other person? It's because they're not providing as much value as the other person and making the most out of their time. This is key because no matter what you do, even if you love doing it, you're gonna get burnt out if you're trying to do it all the time. So you have to find a way to get a lot done in a short amount of time because life happens and you're not always gonna have a perfect week with plenty of time to do everything. So a few years ago, back in high school, I had a friend named Daryl and he was on the wrestling team with me and he has like the strongest work ethic out of anyone that I've ever met. He was crazy, like if you think about David Goggins, he's like the younger version of David Goggins. I always saw him doing like a bunch of stuff in his life. He would be able to balance so many different things and I always like wondered how did he do it? And I'd always try to get some wisdom from him some tips from him because he was a few years older. He had, uh, he knew a little bit more than I did. He worked like two jobs. He had a scholarship for wrestling at his college. And I remember he was always like running on the side, even outside of wrestling practice. And he was even like starting businesses as well. Basically what he told me, and I use this philosophy now and it really works. And I encourage you guys to all use it, is to just stack more on your plate because you'll find a way to get stuff done. You gotta throw yourself in the fire and you'll come out alive if you don't give up. It can be kind of hard to be motivated if you're not forced to do something. So if you commit to something, you sign up for something, you make an agreement for something, whatever it is, whatever way of commitment that you wanna do, you gotta do that because that throws you in, you can't back out. This can make you kind of stressed out, but a little stress is good, so don't be afraid. And he told me that years ago and ever since it's stuck out of Everything that I've kind of learned on the internet from mentors, stuff like that, from friends, what he said has always stuck with me the last like three, four years, whatever it's been. So I don't know what you guys have going on in your life, but find a way to commit to stuff that you want to do, throw yourself in the fire, and stack a lot on yourself, and I'm sure that you'll surprise yourself. If you don't think you can balance a job and school, that's what I thought too like a couple months ago, and... Now I'm working like basically full-time and full-time student as well. 
I have online classes, so it's a little easier, but I'm balancing them both. And I remember thinking like months ago, I saw this kid that goes to my school. He has like a, a really successful like uh, remodeling business and he's a full-time student. And I was like, no way, like he, what is he doing? He has to like have someone doing his homework for him. He has to have people running his company or something like that. Now I realize that you have a lot more time than you think. Everybody makes the bullshit excuse. Oh, I don't have time for that. I don't have time to do this. You probably do. Unless you're already doing a bunch of shit that's productive, you probably have time to do stuff. You just don't realize it because it's hard to realize it if you're not forcing yourself to do something. I remember back last semester, I wasn't working. I was just in school. I only had like, I had like four classes. Um, and basically, I somehow never had time to make YouTube videos. I think I posted like one YouTube video in the whole semester, which is crazy because I had so much time. But I mean, I would just waste that time because I thought, oh, I, I got time for it tomorrow. I got time for the next day to edit, to film, whatever. But now this semester, working full time, full time student, and I'm making a lot more YouTube videos than I did last semester. I'm already at like, this is number five this semester, I think. Granted, they are a little bit easier videos to make, but still, and I'm running more. So I hope that all you guys watching right now are kind of thinking about your own scenarios in your head. Because if you're just listening to mine, that's not really that useful. Apply it to your own life. Think of the stuff that you want to do. Think of the goals that you have. Whatever kind of the foundational parts of your life are. Mesh them all together. Throw them on yourself. And you'll figure out a way. It's what I did. It's what everyone else does. You're fine. You'll be able to do it. So the past couple of months now, I've been on a really good productive grind really good phase compared to last semester. I was really unproductive, really lazy. I've been feeling good this semester. I've been knocking shit out. I like walk faster just to make more time for other stuff to do. So I'm gonna give a rundown of my week to show like where I picked up extra time and hopefully you guys can think about stuff in your life where you can pick up some extra time even if it's just 20 minutes here, 20 minutes there. It really builds up over the course of like five days. That's an extra like two hours to get something done every week. So I'm gonna start my week off with Monday. That's when I usually kind of get in the flow of things. So I head to work, then at 2.30 p.m. I go to class. And if I get to class a little early, I'll stay in the car and actually read because reading is one of my goals this year. And it's actually crazy. I only read for like 20 minutes in between work and class. And I've been flying through books. I'm already on like book three and I only have to do 12 this year and it's halfway through February. So while I'm waiting for class to start, I read, then I go to class. So immediately once I get out of class, I go straight to run. Now on the way driving there, that could be dead time. That could be like me just listening to music, listening to a YouTube video, but I actually call my girlfriend during this time because I would much rather do that. And we talk a few times every day, so it's good to do this now because I mean, it's a lot better than just listening to music. So I talk to her on the way to run, then I get dressed, run, that takes anywhere from like hour, hour and a half. On the way home from there, get food, eat, immediately begin either editing or filming like I am right now. Today is actually a Monday that I'm doing this. This is what I've been doing this entire day. Oh yeah, and then when I'm at work earlier in the day, I actually try to do a lot of my homework on my lunch break. Don't always get this done, so sometimes I'll do it now after I get home. I also try to read a little bit, and then at some point every day I do my Duolingo. If you guys don't know what that is, that's like a language learning app because I'm trying to learn Spanish this year. So that only takes like five, 10 minutes, depending on how I'm feeling. You only have to do it for like one minute, but uh, try to do a little extra. Sometimes I just do the minute, but hey. But that can really be done at any point in the day. Like if you're just pulling out your phone to scroll on TikTok, ugh, doom scrolling, I fall for it too. But if you're just scrolling, scrolling, you could be like literally learning a language right then. You only do it a couple minutes each day and you actually learn pretty fast. So anyways, I'll basically just work up until the time that I go to bed and uh, talk to my girlfriend one more time before going to bed and then try to get some sleep. Usually go to bed way too late, but then I wake up Tuesday. Tuesday I get a full work day and then do the same thing. Instead of leaving from class to go run, I just go straight from work, try to run on Tuesday. Usually I just run at home. I don't go anywhere to run. Then same thing, get home, do it till... Uh, I go to bed basically. Wednesday, same as Monday. So then Thursday, Friday, I have a full work day, like eight and a half hours. So it's still productive. I actually don't really do anything on Thursday and Friday. I kind of take it as a relaxing day because I don't want to get burned out because doing working basically from waking up to going to sleep is very tiring. And honestly, I don't think I could do that for more than three days in a row. 
but I still do get like eight and a half hour shift on Thursday, Friday. But I do still try to read and do Spanish at some point on Thursday, Friday. And then also do some homework if I have to on Thursday and Friday as well. And then Saturday, Sunday, those are nice chill days. Get to reset, relax. Usually I don't run on those days. Um, try to sneak away a little bit and run, but most of the time I don't. So that just kind of gets me ready for Monday and the week to come. And that kind of re resets me mentally and physically. But the whole point of me telling that, if you're still listening, is that I try to fill every minute of my time for a few days each week. Now, I know I basically waste a bunch of time on Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, but that's to keep me motivated because you don't want to burn out. Um, I burn out a lot because I get way too into stuff, so I'm trying to like keep it balanced so that this way I can stay productive for a lot longer of a phase than I usually do. Instead of just being super productive for a few months at a time, hopefully it'll just be like a permanent cycle or years worst case scenario. So yeah, essentially I have three really productive days, two semi-productive days, and then two nice and easy days. It's good to keep the balance. I'm gonna make a video about this in the future about keeping everything in balance because that's what life is all about. It's just a huge balancing act. So you basically need to break down your week like that. So if you wanna pause the video and just kind of think for a second about everything that you do throughout the week, you need to think about every like minute, every hour that you're wasting that you may not think that you're wasting, but you actually are. Say you're just like, say you have to drive to school every day or work and it takes like, say you got like a long drive, like an hour that's a great time to either be listening to podcasts or learning anything, really, just by listening while you're driving. Because otherwise, if you're just sitting there listening to music, I mean, music's nice and it's kind of relaxing or whatever, or maybe hype if you're listening to a different genre, but um, that's wasted time and you could be filling it with something more productive. And then, like I said, on my lunch break, I try to do some homework. I try not to let any minute go by that I'm not doing something. What I used to do on my lunch breaks were just scroll. Scroll on Instagram, scroll on YouTube, and that sucks. Do not do that. That is hours each week that you're never going to get back. You're not even going to be able to remember what you watched when you were scrolling. I'm going to make a video about doom scrolling as well. I'm a victim of it at two. Try not to be. But I know a lot of you guys are probably victims as well. Literally everyone in the fucking population at this point is. So please stop scrolling. Seriously. So breaking down my life like this, it may seem kind of weird like I'm like robotic or I'm like stressing myself out way too much but the thing that I've noticed is when I'm stressed when I'm got a lot on my plate when I'm super busy that's when I'm happiest is when I'm got a lot to do got a lot to think about if I'm just laying around every day not doing anything not working toward anything that's when I'm not feeling so great I feel happy when I'm very productive, and, and most of you probably do too, you may just not realize it. Because the feeling of like getting stuff done, working toward your goal, you can't beat it. Especially when you make a breakthrough, when you're, it gets your uh, mind right. Every day you're just thinking about, I think about the future a lot, that makes me happy as well, and try to live in the present too, gotta balance. But anyways, productivity usually makes you more happy. But be careful, it's really easy to become way too deep in it become way too worried and stressed about everything, trying to be productive. Give yourself some off time, like I do. Give yourself some days off every once in a while, and that will keep you going, that will keep you happy, and that will keep you productive. I'll see you guys in the next one.